Greetings and welcome to our video on the trending subject of Tesla's possible stock repurchase scheme. We all know the story. Elon sold a significant portion of his Tesla stock last year in order to raise money for Twitter. As investors, we're curious if the board would actually implement Elon's recommendations for a buyback. Investing in Tesla now would be extremely profitable, since a repurchase of stock would almost certainly result in a large increase in the company's value. Come along as we join analysts and investors who are awaiting word on whether the corporation will pursue this proposal. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons before we go there. If at all possible, how much do you think a Tesla stock buyback would aid in the company's stock rising above its present price? For a while now, there have been notable swings in the primary EV stock. Despite the fact that the company has recently released what many perceive to be subpar Q4 results, a stock repurchase at this time could prove to be quite advantageous. Investors have been discussing a potential Tesla stock buyback program more and more in recent months, particularly since Musk hinted at one during the company's third quarter earnings call. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, and other executives faced tremendous pressure from analysts and investors during the results call to address the company's price volatility. Musk stated that Tesla may still do a $5, $10 billion repurchase, even if 2023 proves to be a difficult year for the firm. We've debated the buyback idea extensively at the board level, and the board generally agrees that it does make sense to do a buyback, but we want to work through the right process to do the buyback right, Musk stated. The CEO of Tesla, Elon Musk, stated that a significant repurchase is probably in the works, but keep in mind that board approval and review are still required. Over the past few months, many analysts and supporters of Tesla have discussed the potential advantages of a stock buyback for the company. Elon Musk has stated that despite the market's emphasis on the short term, it is crucial to concentrate on the long term. For us investors, knowing the timing of a stock buyback can be useful for a number of reasons. The ability to time the market is the first justification. Repurchases may be a sign of a company's perception of the state of the market. A company's announcement of a repurchase can indicate that they think their stock is cheap and that they are optimistic about their future. On the other hand, if a business cuts back on buybacks, it may be an indication that they think the market is bubble-like and that their stock is overpriced. When Elon began selling his personal Tesla shares in the middle of 2022, the stock of the company plummeted for just this reason. The effect it has on stock price comes in second. Repurchases may have a favorable or negative effect on the stock price of the company. A company's stock price may rise if it buys back a sizable portion of its own shares, which will lower the number of shares on the market and raise earnings per share. This is fantastic news because Tesla reported profits after the market closed in Q4 and the company's earnings per share showed strong performance. The maker of electric vehicles outperformed forecasts in terms of revenue and earnings. In after-hours trading that day, the business's shares increased by more than 5% when Elon Musk declared that the company could create 2 million cars this year. Refinitiv's estimate of $1.13 per share was surpassed by adjusted earnings of $1.19 per share on the day of the release. Furthermore, revenue for the quarter came in at $24.32 billion, as opposed to Refinitiv's projected $24.16 billion. Tesla's revenue was $17.72 billion, and its adjusted earnings per share, adjusted for an August 2022 stock split, or $0.85 per share, compared to the same quarter last year. With $21.3 billion in automotive revenue in Q4, the business claimed a staggering 33% year-over-year growth. Of this, $467 million came from regulatory credits, which is nearly half as much as it was during the same period last year. Thus, even if the corporation is already generating respectable earnings per share, a buyback would boost those figures even further. All things considered, knowing when and how a stock buyback will affect Tesla stock will give us important information about the financial standing and prospective future performance of a firm, which can guide our investing choices. According to Tesla supporter and YouTuber Dave Lee, a buyback of Tesla shares is possible. 
Tesla might be able to build 10 million cars a year at a $15,000 operating profit each car. According to Lee, the business would be able to compete with well-established manufacturers, and there's reason to believe that Tesla is currently in a position to really challenge well-established automakers. Compared to Tesla, established automakers like General Motors and Ford Motors faced different realities for a large portion of the preceding year. Due to the worldwide shortage of chips, GM and Ford were forced to close many of their factories, some of them for several months, which resulted in dwindling dealer inventory and skyrocketing car prices. But despite the industry-wide crisis, Tesla sold nearly twice as many cars in a year as it did the year before, setting records every quarter. The ramifications of Tesla's capacity to acquire essential parts extend beyond its yearly automobile sales statistics. Contrary to the expectations of most industry executives and regulators, it implies that the company, together with other up-and-coming electric vehicle firms, may represent a more immediate and formidable threat to the dominance of industry giants like Volkswagen and General Motors. According to Dave Lee, if the corporation can generate a $150 billion operational profit annually and receive a 30x multiple from investors, its total valuation will reach $4.5 trillion. Investing the majority of that money in Tesla shares will be a wise decision. The third largest shareholder in Tesla, Leo Kowan, has been pushing for a share purchase for a number of months. A petition was created to ask Tesla to repurchase a portion of its stock. The petition's organizers claimed that by late November, it had amassed over 5,300 signatures and was actively seeking a repurchase by the end of the year, or 2022. In an effort to boost investor confidence in the electric car company, Elon Musk has hinted that he may buy Tesla stock after the company experienced what may have been its worst year ever, with shares plummeting as a result of his acquisition of Twitter and the EV business facing 19 recalls. Investors wouldn't notice it until the first of the next year if anything like that occurred. Among other things, the petition argues that the firm benefits from the current stock valuation. Singaporean billionaire Leo Kogwin tweeted in mid-November that it was the right time for a repurchase and the right thing to do. This is because prices usually increase when supply is reduced as a result of a repurchase. Alexandra Mertz is one of the many investors who thinks that buying Tesla stock will show support for the company's future performance and return money to shareholders. She just launched a Change.org petition to demand a quick buyback before the end of 2023. I'm a huge fan of Tesla and a former stockholder, but to maintain my capital, I've been forced to move to the dark side, wrote one of the 5,000 petitioners. He said that he had recovered half of his initial losses since he had began shorting the stock. I think Tesla will do well in the long run, he stated, but the board needs to do something like a buyback before I go long again. According to Wedbush analyst Dan Ives, activist investors may put more pressure on Tesla and Elon Musk in 2023. In 2022, Tesla saw significant growth, but its stock price crashed by 50%, according to a memo released last month, which made it a target for activists. Naturally, some activists were not happy with the company's $560 billion market worth decrease in 2022 compared to the previous year. The stock of the company has performed well in the last several weeks, nearly tripling from its lows in early January. Elon Musk's divided attention is another factor contributing to the expected activist pressure on Tesla. In addition to overseeing the electric car industry, the CEO is also in charge of a number of well-known businesses, including SpaceX, Tesla, and most recently, Twitter. According to Ives, activist investors might pressure Tesla to start a stock buyback program, increase profit margins, or make calculated decisions. We also believe activism will start to increase across the broader tech sector with names such as Salesforce and Tesla being two examples that will face growing pressure around margins, buybacks, and strategic moves, I've stated. Therefore, it would be wise for us to believe that a repurchase is at least imminent given the pressure on Tesla to execute the transaction coming from a variety of directions. For those of us who are Tesla bulls and think this incredible company has enormous future potential, that would be big. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and view our other videos if you liked this one. In the upcoming video, I'll see you.